everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to implement an experiment in OJ. All right. So for the first step, you need to install OJ on your computer. Let's go to uh, the link. So you can see the installing instruction for three different systems. Let me use Windows as an example. So if you have Windows on your computer, the first thing you need to do is increment Python. So when you install Python, please make sure you follow the instructions in the red box, especially add Python to your path. And then you just find Windows PowerShell. And you copy paste uh, the command. And you click enter, wait until your OJ get installed. So now you finished the first step. For the second step, you have to create a project in OJ Studio. So now you can see I already have a new project here. So for you, you just uh, click a uh, plus project and choose a blank project. So now we finished the second step. For the third step, you create an app for your experiment. You can see I have already created a public good simple experiment here. So for you, um, you can just uh, choose plus app and you find public good simple or other experiments you want to implement. So now you finish the third step. For the fourth step, you need to create your app in your session config. So you go to session config and um, you choose um, plus session config and choose again, you want to do session config. So for here, because I already have one, Okay, so now we have the last step, that is to run your project. So here, the first thing you need to do is to go to download and download your OJ zip file. Okay, so now I will save my OJ zip file to the current directory of my Windows PowerShell. So how to find the current directory of your Windows PowerShell? You open the Windows PowerShell and you uh, type in pwd and you can find the path. Um, so now you just uh, copy paste the O3 zip servers into your Windows PowerShell. And you can see now the project is running, yeah. <laughs> so now follow the instruction, open your browsers to the link. You can find your session here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so now you can see that you can play in sl split screen window. Yeah. So now it's as if we have three players right here um, and you are picking the number to contribute. So there is a public goods game with three players per group, an endowment of 100 points, and an efficiency favor of 1.8. How much will you contribute? So I will choose zero for the first guy, 50 for the second, and 100 for the third. And choose next, you can see, okay, now, the first person already made a choice. 
for the second person. Now the second person already made the choice. And finally, the last person. Cool. So now you have already run your projects. Um, for step six, you can download the data. So you go to data, and you can see that exactly for the first player, uh, H shows the zero, second 50, and third 100. So here you can see you can download data in Excel or a CSV format. Here. So you click here and you click download. And, in, and you can see um, you can also download the time spent on each page right here. Okay. Um, so now we have already finished uh, the uh, sixth step. Um, so you can definitely explore more. For example, uh, you can go to the web page. Here is tutorials um, for exploring more of the O2A. So we have like uh, public good skin, we have trust the game. So for example, for your uh, O3 Studio project, let us get to the O3 Studio again. So you can see uh, the details of the public goods game. For example, you can change some of the parameters. Um, likely uh, here, maybe you can change the players per group to four. And you can also change the number of rounds to two. And you can change the endowments to 200 so on and so forth. Cool. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the instructions uh, and you start a journey to implement all your crazy ideas or your experiments uh, into real app. Bye.